amazing thing that we have here at Skylark, which is unique and isn't, isn't found in any other nature reserve in Nottinghamshire, um, is this reconstructed Anglo-Saxon settlement. So this is the result of um, a partnership with, with the, Her the then Heritage Lottery Fund, who funded this project, and with an incredible group of local conservation archaeological volunteers um, and with the County Council archaeologists to actually reconstruct what would have been a small Anglo-Saxon settlement here and as you can see it's part way through there's there's other new buildings under construction at the moment and this is exactly these are exactly the kind of structures and the same building techniques that would have been used here in the sort of ninth century here in the Trent Valley and when this site was originally quarried they actually found the remains of post holes following exactly the format of that Grubin house that you can see there. So it's an amazing living archaeology experiment. So this small structure here is a Grubin house or a grub hut and these were the kinds of buildings that were often used by um, people to do sort of various skills, artisanal skills and things like that within a settlement. So the family when their animals would have lived in this kind of structure here and then um, they might have done things like tanning or weaving or something like that in these smaller structures. So in fact one of these has got a loom that's been reconstructed by the archaeology volunteers in it. So here you can see the um, Anglo-Saxon already early medieval hall and this was just an amazing labour of love by the volunteers and some specialist um, contractors that they had to help with these huge, you can see the roof structure with this huge roof structure being lifted into place um, and you can see the walls are constructed from wattle and daub that's then had a lime wash um, mortar treatment which is using a centuries old recipe you know the clay is exactly the sort of clay in the daub here that's been found historically in this part of South Nottinghamshire um, so everything that could be done to make this as you know, traditional and vernacular as possible was done. It's an absolute labour of love by the volunteers and they you know, produced these uh, amazing bits of living history in our landscape here at the Nature Reserve. So this is an Iron Age burial mound that's been created as part of the experimental archaeology here by the archaeology volunteers and the county council's archaeologists. Um, and inadvertently, having done this for sort of, you know, historical interpretation reasons, uh, it turned out that they created one of the best bits of wild play equipment we've ever seen because it's impossible for any children who come here not to have to, or not to want to jump over the, the ditch and run straight at the top and stand on top of the mound. So it's, it's brilliant fun. <music> the old part of Skylarks, the original reserve that the Trust has owned for over 30 years. Uh, and as you can see, there's some beautiful wetlands here, there's some mature woodland and scrub, um, areas like this reed bed that's really valuable for wildfowl, for ducks and geese, uh, lots of dragonflies and other interesting aquatic invertebrates, water beetles and bugs and things like that. So if you look around, you can see a dragonfly there. Um, so this is a beautiful spot, obviously so close to West Bridgeford, so close to where so many people live, um, people could just come out and visit and it's all open to the public. So thanks ever so much to Green Hustle for coming down to visit Skylarks today and to give us a chance to hopefully persuade some of you listeners and watchers to, um, to come out and explore the nature reserve and connect with nature and really enjoy this wildlife that's right on people's doorsteps here, so close to Nottingham. And if you're interested in coming to Skylarks or any of our other nature reserves or finding out more about our amazing projects um, bringing about wildlife across Nottinghamshire, then please do take a look at our website. So that's www.nottinghamshirewildlife.org. And please come and find out more about the wildlife of the county and hopefully help us to bring back more wildlife to Nottinghamshire too.